Yeah, no, we gotta do that. All right, so the bald fade, you kind of, you come into this side, right, a little bit? I don't know. I kind of mess it up, man. I do like, I do that, but then I like go like that. Okay. I don't know. So you want some up top, for sure? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I, I like to leave a little a, length. Some length up there, but obviously I haven't had a haircut in a long time. Okay. And then do you want to clean this beard up? Yes. So. As far as how much of the beard I want to take off, I don't know, just make it look nice. Okay. You know, whatever. You do you like that kind of how so, it comes in like that? It's really. It's not like that. It's just I've just been I just do this so much that it's like that. It's really I mean it's really not really like that. It's not shaped or anything. It's Okay. I've just been doing this a bunch. But Which I don't is, really care. Like I if it's if it was more rounded or whatever, if you want to take some off, whatever you think is going to make it look good is fine. I'm okay. not crazy about whatever. one way or the other. I mean, okay. I, this is the first, the second beard I've ever had, so yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm well, okay with taking some off. Or if you just want to trim it a little bit. I mean, I think the shape is good, but if we just clean a lot of that up, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like yeah, this yeah, side is a lot longer than this side. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm right. trimmed it or something. Do you want it off your must your stash? Yeah, we can like take off some off of there, the flavor saver. <laughs> yeah, definitely need some of that off. All right. All right. Good. My other, uh, so when I didn't come here a couple for like a month or so, because, you know, it's tough to get in here. Yeah. Um, I would go back to this guy that used to work at Roy's. I told you about him, right? Yeah. But I don't know if I did, but I'm sure I did. But uh, he died. What? Yeah, man, he died. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I don't want to speculate on what goes on in his life. What was his name? His name is Emmett. Emmett. Younger guy? Or? He's a little bit older than me. Oh, actually, quite a bit older than me. He was probably 40s, late 40s. That's Maybe even 50. Wow. But not old enough to just up and die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, like, you know, life's like that. You just never know. Yeah. Super really cool don't. guy, too. I was supposed to change out an irrigation clock for him, and I never did. I just kept blowing him off. Not really blowing him off, I've been busy. And I was yeah. trying to find one, like I was going to take one out of somebody else's house that they didn't want, like that was, yeah, not necessarily not working, but you know, and I was just gonna give it to him for free and put it in there, and it just never happened. And... But anyways, yeah, dude died. <laughs> How much do those things go for? An irrigation clock? Yeah, like, you know, fifty to one hundred and fifty bucks. Like that, we install them for like two hundred. So that's what you do is irrigation. Um. I do a little bit of irrigation. I work for a company called Rainbow Shine, and seamless gutters and irrigation. Uh, but we do mostly seamless gutters. We do soffit, fascia. And we, we actually aren't even doing irrigation right now just because there's so much more money in the aluminum and the soffit and fascia and gutters. And we're so busy with it that we actually, you know, we turned off our advertising for irrigation and we're not accepting any new business for irrigation. Oh, wow just because yeah, I don't yeah. want to do it. There's only two people in the company that do it, myself and the owner. He doesn't want to do much work at all. And I don't want to do it. You know? No. Irrigation sucks. Yeah, but you got to dig the trenches. Change out a clock. <laughs> I'll do that all day. But, you know, working in the dirt. Just, oh, yeah. It's terrible work. Oh, yeah. no, I agree. You, you guys install, like, copper gutters? Have you ever done copper? Yeah, so um, I've seen it done. And yeah, it looks so good, dude. If it's, you have the right it's house. It's difficult because you got to sweat the seams if you want to do it properly, you know, like like weld it basically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've done some jobs. Uh, actually, probably three jobs in the six years that I've worked. Yeah, I've seen one house, they did a copper roof. 
not like I don't think it was copper itself, but the color of mm -hmm. copper, you know, the metal roof, and then yeah. they did copper gutters. And so I just so did sweet. a copper color, so not actual copper. Um, Is it cheaper to do that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How, lo so how long like, does that last? Called designer. There's like designer copper or copper John. I mean, the look of it. So the fake copper, the look of it will last longer than real copper. Real copper will patina. Yeah. You know, it gets that orange like a penny. I mean, um, green like a penny. Yeah. But if you get designer copper or like what they call, it's just like copper, fake copper basically, yeah, fake copper cutters, and it stays shiny. You know. Um, it's got a finish on it, and it, it'll look like, you know, shiny copper for for its duration of its life, which is, you know, life That's expectancy sweet. about 20 years. I just did a wrap. I didn't do the work, but I sold it to him um, for uh, a guy, my wife's friend's husband, Aaron DeDukes. I don't know if you're from here, if you know him. Mm -hmm. um, he, he wanted something to stand out. He did... A that's pool awesome. in his backyard yeah. that's like a Disney World pool. That's what he does, pools. So he's got this super extravagant pool and he wanted something on his back. Porch to kind of pop or whatever and on his house. So he went with copper gutters. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like it. No? Well, I think it depends on the yeah, house, the color this, of the house. His home. house is white with like black or blue shutters. I actually haven't even seen it yet. He just did it last week and I haven't been by because I was busy, but. Um, I don't know, I'm not crazy so about I'm it on, on certain houses, but... I forgot the color of the house I saw it on, but it looked really good. Yeah, it can it just look, look good unique. in certain areas. Like if you have... Typically what people will do is they'll put it on like... Like a back porch around like a pool or something area where they, they just want something just a little bit extra, but... Um, putting it, putting the the fake copper up. I don't know. It's a little bit different. It, the real copper. That's when you know your old money. <laughs> Put yeah, that that real copper up there. Sure. Yeah, it's super expensive. But you put that designer copper up. You know that's new money. <laughs> How much more expensive is the designer copper? Oh my God, 10 times more. It's ridiculous. The designer copper? No, the, the real copper is 10 times more expensive. So how much more expensive is the designer Designer copper as opposed to like aluminum? Yeah, like just regular, regular. aluminum? Not much. Not much. If a, if a regular job is, let's say $1,200, it's 1350. Oh. Let's say, so. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's significantly more. Maybe but it's again, does it really look like copper? It looks like brand new copper. It looks like shiny new copper. You know, and that a lot of people, that's what they're going for. We did this house, the first time we ever did any copper for a guy, uh, we did this house in uh, Riverview for this guy who just moved down from New York. And uh, he was having some family come and he wanted to like make his house look good. So we did a section over his front door in copper. And like before his family got there, it started to patina and he was all upset. And he was like, you put up this, this gutter and it's not, you know, it looks like trash. And we're like, we came to look at it and we're like, dude, this is what, you know, this is what it does. does. This is what it's supposed to do. Like people like this. Like, yeah, a lot I, I of people thought you knew want that. Like, patina. You ordered it. Well, we're not going to explain to you the process of, you know, what happens to metal. I mean, we thought you knew. You know, you ordered it. We assumed that you knew what it would happen. He made us, like, polish it and shit. He was this huge bodybuilder, so we were kind of like, ah, okay, we don't want to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. But, uh, yeah. So you can polish it? You can. It's just like you know, in polishing butt. a penny. You know, you just like you're basically polishing the patina off of it. But I mean, rich people—that's what they want. Like we've done some repairs for people. They want that shine. And they shine. want it. They want us to patina it for them. You know? Oh, that's that's what I thought. That's what yeah. I would want it for. Is so, to get that. Not, it's almost like owning a leather product. Exactly. You want it to get that exactly. kind of. Exactly. You know, I don't like new leather. I like used leather. Yeah, that yeah, look. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Nobody likes a new shiny leather. Anything oh, you want, okay. like 
like this. Like I buy leather bands that are already a little patina, yeah. you know, just because I, I want that look. Yeah. But uh, that's unique. That's cool though. I really need to stop by that dude's house and take a look at his gutter too. He, he thought I was gonna be there during the install and all this stuff. Cause I yeah, know. slacker, bro. I mean, are you still a bartender at night? Nah, nah, nah. nah. Doing this full time? For I haven't done that. In I guess it's been that long years. since you've been in here. No, dude. I've last time you were in here, time. you would go and bartend occasionally. No, nah, man, I hadn't. I haven't bart. I mean. I thought I you did a guest, pick up I shifts. did a guest shift like two years ago because I, they needed somebody and they, they were like, ah, oh, just come and we've got some people out of town. Two other people are at a wedding or something and it's going to be a busy night coming and do it like a guest shift. I was like, uh, I didn't want to, but I did it. Yeah, I don't miss the restaurant business at all. No, dude. I, don't, I mean, it put me through barber school. It got yeah. me where I am, but I don't miss exactly. it. Mean, bartending is fun. I mean, it is fun, but you know what? I don't miss the staying up till four or five o'clock in the morning. And yeah, sleeping in half the day the next day. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, you know, it's I, constant. I don't miss that, but I'm just. I'm still busy. I mean, I'm not working two jobs, but I'm. You know, I'm halfway through my contractor's license. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so I'm what are you going to do with that? take my second test tomorrow. I'm going to try and use it at the company I'm at now. Um, we'll see if that works. You know, we don't technically need a contractor's license to put up gutters. We're not changing the structure. But we might get into some other things. Do some windows, doors, stuff like that. Um, That'd be smart. That's good money in windows and stuff. Oh, yeah. A ton of money in windows and doors. Um, but I'm not sure. I might, you know, I might do something else with it. I'm not really sure. I just want to, first things first, I got to pass the test. I'm, yeah. I pass the first one. I take the second one tomorrow. And then two weeks from then, I take the, the final one. There. So there's three tests. Yeah. They're pretty intense. So I just got to really focus on that. And then, you know, obtaining the license um, after that. And we'll see what I do with it. But I've got a lot of things going on. I got a rental property that I can really use it for because you know, I can't, I own it through an LLC. I don't own it in my name. So I can't actually do work and stuff. Work, but there's, there's a fine line there. I mean, I'd probably get away with it. You could do some that you don't have to pull a permit on. Yeah, so I can do some work that I don't have to pull a permit for. But honestly, I'm the owner, even though I own it through another name. So there's a there's some gray area in there and it's not occupied. So I didn't renew the leases. So the people are moving out here in the next couple weeks. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna do a bunch of work to it and try to sell it. I've had it. Now's the time to sell. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, Where is it in a decent part of town? It's uh, right on 7th, right downtown. On 7th, you familiar? You know where that like old person high rise is there? If you're going downtown on the right, you can see it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's right downtown. Okay. It's in downtown area. That's a good spot. Yeah. So I bought it for like just over two. I'm gonna try and get just over three. Yeah, which you should. I mean, how many bedrooms? It's uh, the top is a two one, and the bottom is a one one. So it's kind of a duplex style. Mm -hmm. It's a duplex. That's that's not bad. I got like I'm buying a house here in the next month, less than a month now. We're closing on it. I gotta do a bathroom remaster, yeah, closet what, remodel on that. I'm in the middle of that now. We just bought a home, <clears throat> closed on it two weeks ago, and I'm. That's so what I was doing all weekend is scraping texture off of our bathroom wall because it's that old '50s thick, stupid texture. You know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah, it's um, that plaster. Yeah, it's like a swir the swirl technique. Is it mud or plaster? Uh, I believe it's mud. Yeah, if you're scraping it off, it's mud. Yeah, so. if it's plaster, there's no scraper. Yeah. You'd have to like get some serious sandpaper. And... They call that like a like a Key West style swirl. Yeah, it's stupid. Mm -hmm. Chin up a little bit. I mean, it's so thick on some of the edges mm -hmm. of the, the mud, there's dust. Like, it's that thick where dust can collect. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. One of the bathrooms in my duplex had that. I had to do a, a repair last, last year. And you had to do it? Yeah, I had to do that. It was super easy to do that little swirl technique thing. It's, oh, that's sure. probably why they do it. All right, chin this way a little bit right there. Yeah, he got out. He said he was never supposed to go in. That's what, yeah, that's what they're saying. He gonna get some money. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? We'll never know if it's really true or not. Yeah, I think he made a deal. I guess, or whatever, I don't know. <sighs> whatever. I saw somebody comparing it to like, they were like, Britney can't even get free. And Oh, Britney Spears. Well, she signed a friggin' thing that's supposed to be for life. I mean, the thing is, she she probably should be free to do what she wants. She's an adult, but she is crazy. I mean, I didn't watch that whole documentary about it, but I mean, I looked at some of the videos she posts. Yeah, She's but not I, the same person. I, I get it, but like you said, I mean that. The problem is, is all that money she made, making her dad, like it's kind of sad when your dad don't care. Well, he cares about the money. That's what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely. Like he chose the money over her. I don't know. Maybe more he is money, scared more that she's crazy. And she's gonna hurt herself. Maybe. I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Maybe. I Maybe could be wrong. Maybe he's a good guy and everybody was just assuming that, you know. I, I, don't I know could be that. wrong. I know, you're right. I know her new husband wants her to be free from all that because he probably wants to get his hands on that money. I mean, that she got like married years, again? He's like, I think she's married to the guy, yeah. 
She's like 10 years younger than her and like, I don't know. She's a good looking lady, so she could get oh, whatever dude. she wants, I'm sure. And she's rich as shit, but like, that dude is not, I don't know that he's in it for the, I don't know. I don't know their life. I didn't even watch the damn documentary. Chin up a little bit. Looks like you kind of just shave. So I'm just cleaning up the line. Not much to clean up. I was trying not to, but I was. You're good. I know I guess you with it. We can still make it look good. Yeah, it's a good looking beer in there. All right, let's do this top. Clean this top up. Might thin it out a little bit. Okay. show you what we're working with here. See how much you kind of... Sure. Yeah. That's good. I mean, I'm, I like the idea of keeping it a little bit longer than I probably even should. Yeah. I mean, the back's really long. I mean, look at that. Yeah. My head is like cone shaped back there too, kinda so. Cone shaped? Kinda, yeah, it is a little bit cone shaped. Well luckily it don't look like you're going bald any time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll probably never go bald. I'll probably have a full head of gray hair in the next five years. My grandfather died with a full head of white hair. Yeah. On your mom or dad's side? On my dad's side actually. Do you know why? Ah, my grandpa Joe. My my dad on my mom's side died of cancer. I was only like 55, so. Oh. They say you get it from your mom's side. I don't know. They Could do be say just that. a myth. My mom had pretty thin hair though, so I don't know. Could be just a myth. My uh, I mean my dad's got super thick hair, so I feel like I probably. And I'm sure there's took uh, after. Yeah. You know him in that aspect, but. I don't know, my mom had gray hair when she was 19 and I started to go gray at 19 too, so I don't know, maybe I got the pigment from her and the, you know, the... The, the thickness, thickness from, from your dad? Or whatever. I mean, it my could. My mom had super thin hair. She looked like she was going bald when she was in her 30s. Yeah, so. that's my mom. I took off my mom. She has fine hair. It's not that yeah. it's going bald, it's just the diameter is yes. not very thick. Exactly. That's how my hair is. Yeah. That's how my mom's hair was, and that's how my wife's hair is. That's how a lot of people's hair is, I guess. But I just, I see my dad's hair, and I, I mean, it's just like mine. So I have to assume that, you know, that's who I took after. Yeah. Hope my boy takes after me. He looks just like me. My wife looks like me. Now I want him to look like me. <laughs> like Do you that. have a boy? I've just got a boy on the way, man. Wow. Got a kid on the way. When did this happen? You haven't so been in here since doing, it's happened. No, I knew last time I was in here. Uh, I might have mentioned it, I don't know. But, um, baby's due in November. Nice, dude, so, congrats. Our first kid, thanks, man. Boy. Yeah, I got a boy. Man, I wanted a boy so bad, but when I have my girl, I wouldn't change it for the world. I would've been happy. She's the way. best, bro. I'd've like, been happy either way. As long as, you know. Healthy, yeah. It's healthy, you know, and that so far so good, everything is. Like, I'm so content with my daughter, I don't want another one. I don't want to ruin it, you I, know, because she's yeah. so good. Yeah. Like, I just don't want to even chance it. So we're we're not making plans one way or the other. We're just going to play it by ear. Yeah, exactly. Like, if this kid sucks, maybe we'll, you know, 
set him up for adoption and then we'll yeah. have another kid. That ain't gonna happen. No. But we're gonna make the She doesn't wanna have a baby back to back, is what she said she doesn't wanna do. And I agree, dude. You know how tough that is? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine getting all fat I got, and I got having a friend. She's got seven. Baby out of your, you know, seven kids, boy. Look That's down a crazy. little bit. Yeah, seven. And they're all, you know, most of them are within a few years. Yeah, and I, I know a guy who's got six right now, and his wife wants another one because four of them are four of them are with his previous wife, and the two are with his current wife, and they're both boys, and she wants a girl. So she's trying to convince him to have another kid. Why don't you just, at that point, you should just, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. I was like, oh, that's a that sounds like a terrible idea. But they're loaded. I mean, yeah, they'd be fine. I mean, if you're if you've got a lot of money, I feel like you can do it. You know, you can you can make it work. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks okay yeah, it looks like because you have gray on top, yeah, yeah, so it looks, it looks like, like it's supposed to be, to be there. there. Yeah. How does everything look, though? Look good? Oh, yeah. How does the haircut look? Yeah, yeah. it looks great. Never had a bad haircut in there. What I like about this place, everybody here can cut hair. Like, there's not like one chair that you don't want to get to, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that does kind of make it more convenient. I am gonna just put something light in there just for the video sake. Put a what? Something light in the hair, like a product. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I got some running around to do anyway. I think we gotta go straight home after and take a shower, but... I'll allow it. It's for the gram. YouTube, YouTube. Not like... I don't have any of that. I need... I'm I horrible I don't have YouTube, at... I don't have an Instagram. Facebook and Snapchat. I I have it all. I'm never on like Facebook or anything. Never really on Instagram. I'm horrible at posting. I like That's to watch some videos on, Facebook. on YouTube. So I watch videos on YouTube but through Facebook. I think I do have a YouTube. Yeah, but having a YouTube just to watch channels, like you really don't need like the only reason I have a YouTube technically is because I post videos on it. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I have a YouTube account because they made me open an account to watch some like explicit video or something that like was like gory or something, I think. And they were like, ah, you have to open up an account to make sure that you know you're you know, old enough to be watching this disgusting video that you probably shouldn't be watching. Because you can't lie on yeah. your account. Yeah. Stupid. You know, it's so funny how that works. Yeah, I mean, a kid can set up a burner email and then just, like, set up all kinds of burner accounts and say, I mean, these kids know how to do more than their parents, so... It, oh, mean, yeah. Yeah. It is kind of stupid, but... I mean, I guess I do get it.